Damn. Yeah, of course. And she she would think that because yeah, she she never knew Max, so yeah. It did get complicated, Steph. It did. Um but I can see why she thought that, because with Rachel, she was crushing pretty hard. So yeah, I understand that. What you're feeling? I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. They must have been there then. Oh no, really, when you think about it, right? Were they there? Because when you think about it, right? I definitely remember Elamon was in a better position than that. Nah. <laughs> If I died tomorrow, oh. this notebook would be the most comprehensive and Yeah, maybe they weren't there because that's obviously five years. Uh, no, not five years. Um, that would be, I think, no. No, it must have been relatively, no. Rachel went missing in, um, she went missing in 2012. Because I think it was like six. Because if you remember when Max and Chloe were talking, um, uh, Max, uh, yeah, you can have Max. That's right. Elamon's in the wrong place. You can ask Chloe when Rachel disappeared. Mm -hmm. Chloe says six months ago. So that would be that would be at the beginning of 2013 in the timeline, wouldn't it? So maybe they would have been there. Because I think Before the Storm was like a couple of years before the first game or something like that. This thing grows more every session. Hmm. My calm sci professor called that scope creep. Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign. But I like having it around. Right, we'll move Elamon. I believe Elamon was about to enter the mayor's hidden bunker. Sounds hmm. right. <laughs> Mikey's definitely a little older, you can tell. They really did a good job of aging him well. They must have played a lot of games together. And she did ask whether Rachel was a gamer, so that would make sense. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. Yeah? She wasn't afraid of anything. Yeah. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. It did. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped that nothing to save Rachel. Yeah, she yeah. Because that's how the, strong the calls she was. and the and the willingness to track peace, her down does tell that. Chloe. Rest in peace. Rachel. Oh god damn Fuck. it. I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. Right, Steph, it's, it's cool. okay. We can stop. Yeah. No. I don't know. Wow. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Huh. Chloe's mom. Rachel's parents. Half the town. There was no way. Wow. So, I so they were there. I understood. Everyone did. So they were then. I don't understand how you did it. Me neither. I just kind of did. Did they ever when meet? When I think Max about then? Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like. How can any of it matter? Oh my god. What kind of world I had is no it idea. that makes that Steph shit happen? Suffering like this. I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. Makes you grateful for Alex and what she did for her. It's a useless box, can I? That's one yeah, thing I. There's some bad roles coming. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I, 
I've noticed about this DLC is when you're doing one thing, you can actually click on other things and interact with them. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. So Steph's quite bad, and it seems to like either way she has it bad. Wow. I think that's why she. She. What's the and word? And that's minus five HP. Oh come on! <laughs> How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? <laughs> Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know, next week is the it's anniversary. Well, it's the thing. So that's one year. Yeah, that's one year. I was after thinking. It. Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know... It'll be fucking horrible, but... Oh my God. Maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah. That sounds, sounds good. Sounds to me... Why are you doing this? Steph... I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you. Again. Steph... When I ghost people, they go away. That's how it works. It's okay, Mike. It's alright. She's. Why? Why do you think? Yeah. Oh my god. This is. This is heartbreaking. This is so heartbreaking. I never knew Steph had it this bad. They must have been there. Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. Wow. That's it. Pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Oh my god. No, it's not, Mikey. That makes sense. Oh my god. Dude, this is. I'm getting emotional right now. <laughs> no. Mikey. It's, it's not what she meant. I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you that makes you feel any better. I do this shit to everyone. She probably does. It doesn't. But continue. She she did. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. Hmm. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. <laughs> he is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. <laughs> they are I such don't forget nerds. anything. I and don't think I don't it. have any Halloween surprises planned for you. <laughs> no. Spooky. <laughs> I love this kid. 
he he is just like the kind of person I would probably be friends with forever, because he's just so chill and loyal and wow. Okay, I can get we've it. had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. So this is both of which this I Christmas. It's a beanie. I gotta say though, and the fl the flannel, which is very similar to Rachel's, look. in a small room talking to yourself. I highly recommend it. Wow, I've got to, I've got to see. Honestly. What the Arcadia Bay things are. I might do this if, every if you year. Sacrifice it. Over Chloe. Hey there, you're live on KRCT, and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. Uh -huh. It's everyone's favorite bartender. <laughs> How's the Black Lantern? Anyone make out with the taxidermy yet? <laughs> Is he gonna tell uh, her about Alex? I left the work so I could talk to you about something. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to... the psychic. Huh. Oh. <laughs> This is gonna right. be interesting. She's, What's he's probably gonna mind? mention Alex. There's someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. She is. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. No, look, the truth is, I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. No, she doesn't so, hate you at all. I'm calling you to ask, what's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? She's you not gonna hate I'm you. I'm not actually psychic, right? Don't ruin it. Well, okay. Steph. Give me a second. Better be a blooming high dice to roll or I'm gonna flip. <laughs> Guess what? It's looking bright. Seriously? <laughs> what would be super good for Gabe? I wonder if they're gonna... A sense of purpose. Yeah, I think that's what he was. The day you call her, you're a ball of nerves. Yeah? You get the number wrong four times. And when she finally picks up and says, hello? You sell her insurance. <laughs> now he freezes up because he's a dork. You clam up. Total silence. Except for your obvious breathing. Yeah. What? She blocks your number. You what? have to call back on a landline. But hearing her voice changed everything. Suddenly, the most important thing in the world is making sure she's okay. Now you're on a mission. And your own fears don't matter anymore. You're too busy sending her jokes and making time to hear about the worst part of her day. Believe still me, afraid you'll some, screw a things lot of up. that time. And you do. A lot. But underneath, there's a sense of security. Because now you're driven by a purpose that will always steer you back to her. No matter what happens. Steph doesn't know it yet, Thanks. but she. F Thank you for calling. I feel that because I think that's exactly what Steph there? is. Steph feels exactly that now. Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay, then I'll see you. Hmm. I like that. 
read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Hmm. See, I I like I like this last little part because it really shows Steph insecurities, and it makes. If you remember in my playthrough of Chicales, I took Charlotte's power and it kind of rebounded and she, sh and she showered at Steph and Steph walks out and then she goes in episode 4 she goes, oh I bailed at, at her time of need. That was probably the time, Alex was probably the light in her life that actually saw her to kind of not do that and she, f she faced up to that flaw she's got. Man. Last show of 2018. I know I say this every New Year's, but this was a fucking crazy year. If resolutions crush their dreams. <laughs> okay. Twenty nineteen New Year's Eve party, free champagne with raffle prizes. Provided by Charlotte and Char Charlotte. Charlotte and Eleanor. Tap out night, that's what they were amongst you, brews instead of installed in our rotating taps, drink specials. Okay. I'm not sure a bit of an overstock on holiday stuff. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's Rager brewing. You still have time to... Win a raffle. Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, Tap Out Night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Drink specials so you can try all the new arrivals without breaking the bank. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer scented heart of Haven Springs. All right, Gabe, what did you leave out there for me? There's usually oh, another one that hasn't put a thing in there Rocky Mountain High. <laughs> um. Cosplay is not consent. What? Okay. Not like other girls. <laughs> Another one that hasn't entered anything. Person loves cats. In the world of sharks, be a dolphin. That's interesting. No. That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. <laughs> right. Change under the front door of the shop lately for like, I don't know, surprises left there for you by your loving supporting buds? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh god, what did y'all do? Okay, now I'm really scared. <laughs> oh, Gabe. Oh, Izzy's text us again, look. In the laser duck. What is what is Izzy way? So I am oh So I unblocked you? Yeah you sure did. Ha ha. That's the point you might want to copy. Oh Like I know, right? I look hot. <laughs> If you're ever back in Seattle. Oh, okay. Thank you for, I don't know, talking sense to me last night, I guess. I basically, so basically nothing. <laughs> Hard disagree. For the first time in a long time, I felt you were, I was actually talking to you. Less haunted. That's a start. So, Elamon is coming back to the new Eden after his campaign is over, right? 
You bet it. There's more unexplored buildings in that one city than all our campaigns from high school. Elmont isn't gonna crash every poor farmer's house looking for loot. Talking about the. <laughs> There's an underground? <laughs> oh dang. How's life in the stinks? Still thinking about splitting? I don't know. No time soon. Hey, this is alright. It's not like where I see myself retiring, but I like it here for now, I think. I, I don't know. You you know how hard games are safe rooms and that the monsters can't get you and you have a chance to heal up and reload before you go back out and blast and scores of more zombies? <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Hamish brings it to my safe room, I think. Reload, heal up, and head back into the big dangerous world. I wanna I wouldn't want to be the first zombie to cross your path once you do. <laughs> yeah. Oh Ethan. Aww. Yeah, so all these people, like, it's unfortunate you don't see them. That's one thing I've noticed. I'll, I'll bring it up. Because I think we're near the end. What a year, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, right. Hey, we've got a return. No. Read all ads, two calls, shut front door. Tally the school, listen to your Returning Returning sponsor today, Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since before some, before times of you were born. Since 2005, before some of my listeners were even born. And if you're one of them, remember, only cool kids stay up late and listen to local radio. Hmm. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you... Hit a firework. Get your mirror blasted off by a runaway New Year's firework tonight? They are wide awake and ready to help. Aww. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair. Your best and greasiest neighbors. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not mm. to worry, Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with... More decorations. Sales on your favorite holiday foods. Treat yourself to a discounted novelty size candy cane, but this time without the excuse. And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for... Get fit foods. Healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. <laughs> Happy New Year from Spamps. Still got another call yet. Mind you, I think we might have done those already. Mind you, I don't think Gabe was... Oh, it's a bunny shirt, yay. What could fit under the front door? Now the phone calls. Maybe con concert tickets? <laughs> that would make sense. Happy New Year! You're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay, it's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Grandma gifts rule. Yeah. They pull out all the stops. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm calling. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and Grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, the more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? 
return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? No. I will consult the cosmos. Keep it. You might need it for something else. And 12 doesn't tell me much. I always get what I want. And what does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You keep the camera, even though it hurts your insides thinking about how much grandma paid. Uh. And since the gear is taking up half your bedroom anyway, you start putting it to good use. Yeah. You start a video blog and kick it off by interviewing the person who made it all possible. Mm -hmm. Grandma would actually love that. She tells you all about her childhood, which is already interesting enough. But it's her sweet demeanor, yet shockingly salty language that makes it go viral. Soon, you forget all about the pressure you put on yourself to be a filmmaker. And you just have fun making stuff. And you start to think, maybe Grandma knew exactly what she was doing when she bought it for you. Duh, of course. Right, I've just gotta use it. Thanks for helping me see that. It's what I do. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I like that. I like that one. Still haven't answered two calls. One. Uh, toy cat. Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. <laughs> Valkyrie only uses this when I'm not looking, which doesn't hurt my feelings whatsoever. Oh, she's showing at the back here, look. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I fu- Oops. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Mm -hmm. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a ten-year-old to start your year off right. <laughs> Aww. Guess I could hang out here and ask myself if I'm going to the office party tonight. Gotta add the latest game. Another food. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. <laughs> As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man. Sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Hey Gabe, how do you spell insecurities? I know how to spell I N S E C U R A. Man, shut up. <laughs> okay, let's move on to lesson two. You gotta flex your bragging muscles. Really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face, you know? <laughs> oh, you know a lot about blasting guitar solos, do you, Gabe? I know my way around a guitar. <laughs> sure you do, bud. Hey, how many instruments do you play? You want to jam after this? Show me your skills. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Lesson three. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. <sighs> I'm gay. When all else fails. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I'm Steph. I wish I wasn't so bad at foosball, gay stuff, tabletop games. What the hell? Oh, so close. Thank you so much for seeking an education at Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. 
You just got school. Damn it. <laughs> I was so sure I had you that time. <laughs> oh, Steph. Sweet, naive Steph. Sweet, pure, optimistic, bad at foosball Steph. Dude, knock it off. 